Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm, I've been working for 40 years with power plant stations, and uh, especially for E.ON, it's a big uh, European company raising power plant stations. And uh, in uh, this area, uh, we also have made seminars where I've been a lecturer for, for uh, uh, bioenergy uh, production. And uh, as we saw a little bit earlier in Sweden, um, that is, you have to change your energy systems. And um, I was one part of, of the delegation in November when we were to India and uh, with the uh, energy agency. And uh, there we see that uh, the development of uh, renewable energies wasn't so developed in India. And uh, you have to realize that coal and oil is not forever. And you have to do something to renew your energy systems. And that's our leads are uh, what we are working for. And in Sweden, we have this company called ED um, Energy Developer. And uh, I'm the CEO of this company. And uh, underneath this company, we have two companies. One company is ED Power. And ED Power is, uh, we are working with power plants, uh, waste energy uh, for boilers and so on. But this presentation would be for ED Biogas. And uh, in, in this company, we looked for good um, digestion solutions um, for 10 years approximately. But uh, what we found that was that you, you make biogas out of uh, big tanks and, and the, uh, the, the process was not so efficient. And uh, we start looking for how to do the process that will be much more efficient uh, when you do the biogas. And uh, then we found this uh, ED uh, biogas. And we have developed a system for uh, uh, making uh, those biogas reactors. And to do that, we get together uh, with those companies we were normally working with in a consortium. And all those companies uh, is operating uh, in an energy system uh, sector uh, in Sweden. And uh, we like to do, uh, we are manufacturing the biogas reactor, but we also like to do something with treatment of water and, and uh, uh, the up, gas upgrading system. Uh, and in this development, we have we try we think we have solved many of the the normal traditional problems with organic um, when you digest organic waste, um, and um, we think that our technology is uh, very uh, la one of the latest technologies in how to make gas and how to make gas faster and and we also get much more gas out of, of our technology. And when we develop these reactors, we have thought of everything uh, that you have to, to make a reactor for a long time. You have low maintenance and very good efficiency in this thing. So, We developed a, a biogas reactor that's scalable. And uh, our system, how to make the gas, that is, we have some, some facilities that I'll come back to a little bit later. Uh, but um, this tank, um, it works in another way than the normal uh, when you digest uh, waste um, that I'll show you later. Um, this tank is about 127 cubic meters, and that's uh, why it it won't be any bigger. Is that we have to transport this thing? We would like to manufacture them 
uh, and transport it. And, and in, when they do the installation, in three days we can be up running. So uh, the tank, the reactor, is scalable from, from uh, any size up to 127 cubic meters. And uh, the amount of 127 cubic meters that in our techniques we use 10% new material every day. It's a, it's a blue reactor. You, you fill it with 10% every day. And uh, this is a picture of our uh, Demo reactor. It's only three cubic meters and you can use it in a container. And in this, uh, our process, we like to use uh, substrates for, for uh, gas production as manure. We can use sewage sludge and we can use food waste. We can have slaughtering waste and agriculture crops uh, to do that. And we can also mix uh, those things. And we like to mix and preheat the substrate before we add it in the reactor. That's our technique. Uh, normally, when you do a, a, a digestion, uh, you have some problems. Uh, often, you can't find small digesters, um, not any way to make them profitable. And uh, it's very high costs for, for transporting waste uh, through this uh, few large plants and it's when you don't find any small uh, reactors. Normally you have a, a fee for deposit on this thing and you do normally every uh, digester have the problems with foam or sedimentation in the, the tanks. You have a big uh, amount of dead material in the bottom and you have uh, foam problems upon and um, these things uh, we think we have uh, sold. Also, uh, you can do uh, digestion in, in a mesophile way or a thermophile way. Uh, the, uh, mesophile way, that is the body temperature. And thermophile way, you do it in the 55 degree spectrum. And uh, when we uh, add a substrate in our reactor and we take uh, we have a, a during time uh, in the reactor for 10 days and uh, we mean that the substrate that comes out it's uh, hygienisated uh, because the, in Sweden anyway the laws said that you have to have 70 degrees centigrade two hours or 50 degrees in, in seven days and we have 10 days um, time in the reactor in 55 degrees. Uh, so, it, the biological danger would be much less from this substrate that comes out of the reactor. And uh, we can use local uh, waste for, for doing this thing. And we can do uh, um, less transportation when, when uh, we can have this plant uh, locally. Uh, the rest uh, Pro, uh, the rest products from digestion uh, can be locally cleaned uh, and used as fertilizer uh, if you have it from Kodang or from, from something else. And we have no foam uh, in a sediment we, uh, from this thing. When, when in this sludge comes out, uh, out of the reactor, the reactor is quite clean. It's nothing left. Uh, we might minimize the health problems and uh, the bi biological danger uh, when we do this uh, hygienization. And one of our techniques, uh, uh, when you use a uh, traditional process, you always have, if we can uh, do this as an example for uh, water treatment plants, you have uh, a sludge that is from a half to three percent uh, dryness and the rest is water um, 
you have in in um, in a such uh, substrate uh, too much water, and and if you go to digest this thing, you you have to heat up the water, and you have to have much energy uh, helping energy to do this. In our process, we take very much of the water away. We like to have a substrate that is 12% uh, dryness. And in this case, we take 88% of the water away. So we pr process a very much lower uh, amount of, of um, substrate. And um, we could, in uh, this uh, reactor, we could digest approximately 5,000 cubic meters of, of substrate every year. And, and if you, we have taken the water away, it would be five times more uh, from the beginning, uh, 25,000 cubic meters of sludge uh, to digest. And how this uh, reactor works? Um, the main purpose uh, in our reactor is to remain a very uh, silent um, and, and slow uh, production through the reactor, uh, how it works, and uh, to make um, gas out of it in a proper way, you have to have very good order in those four uh, steps. In the first step, uh, you you have the hydrolysis step. Uh, carbohydrates pass into sugar. Grease passes into fatty acid, protein passes into amino acids. That's it in the first step uh, when we make uh, this. Uh, is, as you can see, we have a, a sort of turnover of the uh, substrate in our reactor, but it works very slowly. The process that you can see here, the, the red cross, it's only turning one turn. 24 hours. We are not mixing uh, the substrate. We are just uh, pushing it through the reactor. And seventh, se uh, next step you have in, in this thing is um, acetogenic steps. And germs will break down sugar into alcohol, fatty acid into simple fat, and amino acid partly into ammonia. And that 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 works in a very slow way. And we don't mix those steps from one, two, three, four. And uh, to uh, this acetogenic step process changes it to acid acid, carbon dioxide and hydrogen. And in the fourth step, we have methyl uh, methylenic genesis step and acid uh, and carbon dioxide interact with alcohol and grease in and creates methane and carbon dioxide and small amount of sulfur hydrogen and ammonia that was happen and as you can see upper in this reactor we have a collector uh, so we always collect gas in a free way. When we don't have any foam in the reactor, this system works very properly. Sorry. Uh, we have some figures for, for uh, the reactor. and. Uh, uh, Reactor holds a volume of 127 cubic meters totally, and we produce react. The reactor processes 9 to 14 cubic meters uh, in 24 hours. Uh, so we have a process time of, of 8 to 12 days in the reactor, and we can handle substrate dry solid contents uh, 4 to 12 percent uh, and 12 percent is rather thick uh, in this matter and depending on the substrate if we have fish waste or slaughtery waste we have we can get 
so much as 3,200 megawatt hours per year out of a reactor. But if you're using straw or, or some uh, cow dung or something, that's uh, less um, energy. We, we perhaps won't get more than 640. And, and the, thanks to the capacity for high dry, dry solid contents, uh, continuously process flow 8 to 10, 10 day, 12 days uh, and other features reactor makes uh, this thing seven times more effective than traditional biogas plants. And that's also depending on that we are not using so much help energy. When we dewater the substrate, we have a gravitation dewatering system. And uh, we are always using very uh, little energy in the process. And what we have sold out that is mostly uh, when you do the gas, you have from 25 to 35 percent uh, help energy uh, of the gas uh, energy that you get out of the reactor. In our case, we have less than 10 percent. And that makes us uh, much more effective when we do this. The, the energy that's left uh, netto is much more um, based on our efficiency. And how does the system work then? Normally we have a reactor. That's what we have developed. We have pre-treatment systems for uh, dewatering and we heat up the system, the substrate. Um, and we can also uh, dewater uh, the substrate afterwards. And we can reuse this water uh, to, if we have uh, solid waste uh, that's too thick and we like to come to the dryness of 10%, we can add water to, to this uh, substrate. We also use heat pumps in our system uh, or heat from gas engines to preheat uh, the reactor and uh, uh, the pretreatment of the substrate before we add it to the reactor. And the gas system uh, that comes out of this thing, uh, we also have a, a system for uh, dewatering and dehyd dehydration system and desulfonation system. In uh, we do it when we do it. Um, we also have a system how to make uh, when we have solid waste. Uh, we have to fractionate and we have to prepeat uh, the substrate before we uh, put it in the reactor. And what do we do with the gas? Uh, we, we produce uh, even more gas uh, in, in the reactor, but you have to use it for something and then we can have all those uh, systems uh, for using the gas. We can use a gas engine, we can have a micro turbine, we also have a, a fuel cell that uh, we have reformer for, for uh, uh, the biogas to uh, uh, making electricity and uh, also uh, heating from this thing. And you can use it for heating as in a boiler. And uh, in together with our uh, Swiss associated companies, we can also upgrade the gas to vertical gas. And uh, I think that is something that's coming. We have develop this biogas reactor and uh, every other equipment uh, around this water treatment, uh, upgrading for gas and, and uh, motors and so on. That is what we are looking for in India or uh, elsewhere. 
we we have those uh, main thing to pr produce the gas, and what we are looking for in um, um, India that is a license taker for uh, this thing, and we can also say that in our system we have an internet connection to the reactor, so when we do maintenance we can support uh, the, the they who run the reactor online so we can see what's happening and, and what to do in this thing. And uh, the target market for us that's um, they who have 3,500 to 5,000 cubic meters of subsidy a year uh, we can uh, connect one reactor to another reactor, but uh, the maximum size of the reactor is 127 cubic meters, and in this thing we, we process approximately 5,000 cubic meters of substrate with a dryness of 12%. And target customers, that is water treatment plants, pig farms, cow farms, chicken farms, slaughterhouse, food industries, greenhouse growery, fruit farmers, rice farmers, and uh, what we are doing uh, in India, that is we are joining this uh, uh, delegation in April, and uh, then we are looking for license taker and also uh, companies to manufacture the reactor um, for equipment, how to run it, and how to make our uh, reactor. Yeah, that's uh, approximately what I have to say. <laughs>